I'm going to show you how you can create this. In Blender. So if we look at clips and renders like this, you'll notice two major things in common. And that's that there's a building and heavy fog. Lucky for you, I've released two building packs already, so you can get those and be halfway done making renders like this. There's a couple other smaller similarities and characteristics that these renders usually have, which is dark and moody cold colors, usually very limited color palette, like one pop of color maybe, and sometimes there's rain, but it's mostly just fog. So let's get started. First, we bring in our building, this is a good one. It's from the pack I mentioned earlier. Then we add a cube and make it really big surrounding the building and the camera and everything around it. This will be our fog. And to make the fog, all you do is you go here in the shader editor, uh, take away all of this stuff and just bring in a volume scatter node and plug that into the volume. And then we'll fine tune it once we start getting a preview of the render. So let's work on the smaller details. So for example, this building comes with a slider that lets you turn on the window lights on and off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of adjust this mesh for the windows and only apply this material to one window and not, none of the rest so that we have this one kind of single lonely person that's up late at night or something like that. The other thing I want to mention is that the smaller details like these little aviation lights, aviation obstruction lights, they're already here on this building, but you can turn them off and edit them as you wish. For the environment, you don't have to go too crazy. Just a simple emission is good enough, I think, with a blue kind of cold color palette like we mentioned earlier. And then we can fine tune the volume here, depending on where you have it. If it's higher up, it looks like a very low cloud. If it's lower down, it, it just looks super eerie and kind of creepy, to be honest. But I think the density is a little too high, so let me bring that down. I think that looks pretty good, but still a little too strong, so I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. And then I also did animate the camera a little bit for the final render. I just have it going from one side to the other, kind of looking like somebody's walking. So then all we got to do is let it render and cycles, preferably. It looks really good with volumetrics there. And then I highly recommend bringing it into some kind of editing software like uh, DaVinci Resolve. This is this is what I use, but uh, I would recommend just adding a couple filters to it, adding a little bit of like curves adjustment, color grade, things like that to really make it pop and feel moody. So after all of that, here is the final render. As you can hear, I also added a little bit of sound effects for some of that city ambience. I really think it adds a lot more to the immersion of it. I've also been playing around with some of these renders on my Instagram. If you're following me on there, you would have seen some of that uh, earlier. If you follow this tutorial and make something with buildings that I have or your own buildings or anything like that, you want to tag me in it, please do. I'd love to see what you make. I can share it on my stories. But uh, yeah, if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe, all this kind of stuff. Let's me know that, that there's interest in this kind of content and, and, I'll, and I will make more. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or just want to suggest stuff for future videos, leave that down in the comments below. If you want this file, this project file, you can find that on my Patreon with everything else. And uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.